Hey guys, so we're here uh, with a Swing Caddy 300i. Uh, we're actually on the driving range now, so you can get a better look. I'm gonna open it right here. So there it is, it's just sitting there nice in the case. I have the controller, the cable, the manual, all tucked away in the zipper. So first thing we'll do, is take the Swing Caddy out. Now the Swing Caddy needs to be five feet behind where you're actually hitting the golf ball. So find a flat surface, put it behind there, five feet, power it on. All you have to do is hit this mode button, hold it down, and it should say like high on here. So here we go. I'm gonna go ahead and do it. It says hi. I don't know if they know I'm in Hawaii or what, but you know, it still says hi. As you see, that's uh, starting to sprinkle out here. A little windy. Boxing, there is a little gasket in there. I think right now would be the perfect time to utilize that. Right over the USB C port, which is right on the side here. Easy as that. I'm gonna pull out the remote control because you don't need to use it because you can go ahead and select your clubs here. But I'll tell you what, that should be very convenient. That's as easy as that. So let's uh, go ahead and uh, place it down and let's try to find a good spot. And there we go. So if you come around here and take a look, you'll see how visible this screen really is in the daytime. Granted, we have a little bit of overcast, but even when it's bright and sunny out, you have great visibility take a look at that you can see everything on there and it'll actually you can adjust the volume from five to like one or zero to let you you know so it tells you exactly how far it went the really interesting fact is if you look at the controller you can adjust the total yards or you can do carry yards so you know especially when you're hitting that driver you're like okay cool i'm hitting it out there 270 but i want to know what the rollout is potentially on that so that's another great little feature right now i'm gonna go ahead and start um i'm gonna go start with my pitching wedge right here so what i'm gonna do is there's the pitching wedge button i'm gonna go right here and look at that easy as that pitching wedge now as i said five feet away so what i'm gonna do is about five paces away So roughly in this area and let's give it a swing and see uh, how it does now my pitching wedge I normally hit about I think like 140 so let's see what it does calculating so there you go, 141 yards. Right off the rip, pretty accurate. Let's give it another shot. See if we can duplicate that. Um, I did hit that one thin. So let's uh, try to hit more solid now. What a beautiful swing. Okay, perfect ball flight. So now ahead, now we're gonna go ahead and um, switch to the seven iron. Ahead, I'm gonna switch to the seven iron. So, bam, seven iron. As you see, my swing is not perfect. I ain't no pro. I'm uh, just a weekend golfer, and I do a sport and have my little toys like this, which will definitely improve your game. Because I can't wait to go back and just look at the footage of what's on my phone. And then from there you can draw lines of angle attacks and really trace it out. So let's go ahead and my 7-iron. See what we can do. Yards. 
that's about right right now. about 170 so that's why i'm kind of confused about where i was hitting that pitching wedge because normally that's like 140 for me but i guess i wasn't just making good contact let's try it again There you go, there's a fat one. See it, you're gonna show. 125 yards. And that just goes and shows the accuracy of this thing. If you don't believe that, it's like, oh, it's just picking it up. I don't know how close I am now. See, I'm within five feet. So it makes me wonder, but like, I'm gonna come off to the side a little bit. Can you go ahead and see? Should it still register? Hit that one fat too, so I bet you that's about 145. 149 yards. I'm gonna get my 170 yards, damn it. Yeah, that's right. So it's picking it up fine. What I'm going to do right now, because it's carry distance, I'm really curious of what it's going to do for total distance. So let's go ahead and change that. Now it's total. And actually, when I did that, it, my last shot it showed me 160 yards total. So let's see what the rollout is on this thing. The sun's in my eyes now. 159. And that yards. was a chunk, which is good. That wasn't a good shot. So that was a chunk. Like it wasn't it wasn't a clean hit. So that's total rollout. So it just makes you think like the ball's rolling an extra what, seven, eight yards. Now I'm gonna go with my four iron. Iron four, bam. Let's give this guy a shot. Yards. So that's one thing I've been working on. Um, I'm getting a lot of wrist action, and something I need to like just hold off because it's just I'm coming through and I've been hooking the ball a lot. Right there, I just literally tried to bring the club back straight without actually like hinging the wrist at all. So I'm gonna try to do the same thing right now. perfect that way it just yards. feels very awkward it's something that when you make a change in golf you just it feels weird but you see I can stick with it this device is capable of hitting to a net as well which is outstanding especially if you want to save a few dollars and stay in your backyard 
All right, that was a good solid chunk right there. It's tough. 85 yards. Perfect. Hey, at least it went down, it would have gone down the fairway and I still have another shot. <laughs> Today's a little soggy here, so as you see, the ground is very soft, which can also make it more difficult because you're not getting no help, no bounce, or nothing. So you literally have to make solid contact, or else the ball's not going where you want. I'd be happy all day with that shot. 16 yards is carry distance now let's go ahead and get the the three wood out just for fun and what's funny about this right so i have so i don't know how many of you guys out there you literally go to the driving range even if you laser like these flags out here you're like you have no idea how far you hit the ball and it's kind of frustrating because you're trying to gap your clubs and figure out your distances and and if you don't know your distances, you're going to be undershooting or overshooting greens all day long. And uh, this tool right here is very valuable and in perfect practicing and along with giving you vid video feedback of what your golf swing looks like so you can make those improvements if you're coming in too steep over the top. And you can actually draw lines on the app, which makes this tool like amazing. For 500 bucks, like... It's totally worth it. So right now I'm gonna switch to my three wood. And on this controller, you'll see that there's actually not like a three wood slot, but there is a fairway wood spot. So I'm gonna go ahead right there and it's, it just happens to be the very first one. So let's give three wood a shot. Horrible shot. Should probably when I'm not even gonna even register. Two hundred twenty. Or maybe it was. I don't even know. Yards. Coming out. Oh, never mind. You actually had a spin right now. Okay. I think someone else. I thought it was a bad shot. I couldn't see the ball. I heard a ball like literally like right in front of me. <laughs> I thought I topped it. <laughs> it was actually this guy to my left. Okay. Come out pretty good, nice and straight. Maybe a little bit of a draw. I pulled that one, but it was a pretty well struck. And it did not register. Don't know why, I don't know if I'm off the line right now. I just feel like you're farther back. Maybe, Maybe I'm too far. Past the five foot. Yeah. I guess I, I don't want to be that guy bringing a damn uh, measuring. measuring tape out here, but I, I think I'm like within that five, maybe it's within five feet. But I do feel like this ball is going to go 250 yards right now. I'm off target, I'm not in front of it. Very well could be. Well, that's my first slice of the day, and it's gonna pick it up. <laughs> you son of a gun. It's still well struck. Alright, let's try it again. Right down the piper.
256 yards. All right, not too shabby. Um, I am definitely hooking the ball a little bit with that one. So let's fix that right now by changing my swing a little bit. I feel a pull. Two hundred forty seven yards. All right, two forty seven. Not bad. Perfect. Now let's move on to the driver. Two hundred seventy one yards. And that's exactly about right. 271. Carry. Now we'll see. See if I can get it up. What was my club speed on that one? Uh, actually, my mistake. Make sure you switch the club, which I don't think it really, I don't know if it would make a difference. But, just in case. Yeah. Well, it's one wood now. Ooh, wait. Driver, perfect. 10 degrees, and that is correct. And I agree with that one, because even though it went super straight, <laughs> which you'd be happy all day long with that, I felt like I, I lost my grip on that one. Let's get another 270. Ooh, massive hook. 200. 67 yards. What? I don't know if it cheered or if they're booing. It boos at me? Yes. No way. I swear. Hold up. You just cheered. You didn't hear that? Or it did something. Okay, let's try it again. You Hopefully it cheers. Yay! Two hundred seventy-six yards. <laughs> Woo! We don't need to be here no more. You know, I think it's uh, beats your personal record. It keeps track. That's so awesome. So new feature. If you hit a PR, it lets you know by a cheer. I want to say. Let's see if I can uh, uh, get it to. I want to hear another cheer. <laughs> hit that like button if you want to hear a cheer too. Oh, that one's crushed. Come on, give me a cheer. 270 ah. yards. It's a curiosity. They know the number, so. That's the carry. I want to see what the total is. That's where the money comes in, huh? Let's see what that rollout. cheer okay that obviously wasn't my best hit then and my swing speed is 107 which is pretty good should be I hit 300 with that though All right, we we got we gotta get that 300. If I hit that 300, so hit that okay, subscribe so button. Now I know why it's not okay. So right now I'm screen recording the phone, right? 
So when I'm in the normal mode, it's showing me all the stats and even the spin rate. When I'm in the video and then I transition out, it doesn't give, give you the spin. Rate. But if you leave it on this, it'll give you the spin. It'll give you a spin What's rate. my spin rate? Uh, three thousand two hundred and twenty. Okay. A lot of spin. But I'm glad that you guys came along for the the journey, the ride, uh, the see uh, exactly what this device is about. Um, you know, you're gonna look and you're gonna see your launch angle, your apex, your smash factor, and you can see how well you're actually hitting the ball. And it's super important. And figure out your yardage, gap your all your clubs. And right now, since this whole practice session, we still have a full battery. So that just goes to show that like, this thing, it lasts a while. There's two modes in this. There's practice and there's target. So let's go into target mode to uh, test that out after I uh, smash this drive real quick. go target mode so after going through okay so on the phone when I was going on here I'm switching to target mode you can go ahead target mode on here it's easy you can select your target how far out you want to hit the ball what are you trying to do so in order for me to get a target mode maybe there's another way on the phone but I haven't figured it out yet but I just hit the mode button on the top of the um, device and it switches over to target mode no problem so right now I put it into the 50 yard target mode so I'm gonna try to hit 50 yard shots and see how it works out Changing. Actually, no, I keep this club. That's kind of fun though, that you lets you put target mode. It's kind of like a. Yeah, a game. Like. Yeah, and so it's. Especially when you're hitting into a net. So oh, get it's just get that. Well, this one too, but. Yeah. Try to pick 50 yards out there. I'm trying to imagine what 50 yards is. I guess that's the tough part. Because I like to. Like I was visualize. I'm going to try to hit it right past that first cut right there. Alright, just to go over the app real quick, download my uh, swing cat, uh, caddy and then from there you're going to have to create an account which is super easy, um, it only takes a couple minutes and then upon opening, there you go, this is what you have. Um, so when you first open it, it's going to ask you to connect to your swing caddy uh, 300i. Now the main thing here is you make sure you have your device on, um, you need to pair it up via Bluetooth. And how you do that is you actually hit that Bluetooth button on the top right hand corner and it's actually going to find it. Back to the device, you go to hit that Bluetooth button up on the top right hand corner 
and then you're gonna go ahead and see it and bam from this point it's gonna ask you if you want to update it right now it's already updated it's gonna sink but if you want to manually try to update it push an update you're gonna hit that gear icon on the top right hand corner and then you're gonna go to update and right there my firmware update is up to date so I don't need to update it but just in case this automatically prompt you to do it that's how you would do that also I also mentioned that I updated the clubs within the system now how I did that was you actually go to settings you're gonna go to your clubs and then you're gonna select say for irons for instance and there you go I went ahead and for say my three iron it's you click on that you go ahead and nickname if you want brand model I just went a little above and beyond you don't really need to do that but I just went ahead and did that and also the loft angles I adjusted so that way I matched the clubs perfectly yeah that's essentially all I've done uh, unless you want to change the units of course then you can change your distance from meters to yards or speed from miles per hour or height from feet to meters just kept it all standard I didn't make any changes in that within the app you can see that there's practice mode and target mode right here also if you look you can go ahead and look at previous videos as an example and yeah that's essentially it I think it's a great tool let me um actually let me see something real quick because right when here on the app I haven't done it yet but see you can actually draw little lines right here say that's my thing so then I'm gonna go ahead and okay oh, let's go here let's draw my club okay <laughs> all right so after you draw the line right there which is cool there's actually you don't actually hit play at this point you can manually slide this bottom wheel to play the video in slow motion so there we go. So you see, based off my swing, I've actually come pretty steep. I need to come more narrow right there. So as you see, I'm coming more over the top. So that's a great... <laughs> great tool right there um recommend obviously putting this probably right at the hip level right behind you this is ain't exact at the moment and also you think about it you can it doesn't require you to have it directly behind you you can have it video you face on so that way you can see where your arms are at if you're chicken winging it and it's just all over it gives you the freedom to put the camera wherever you want so I can't I can't speak highly enough about this right now this I'm super impressed by this product um, good stuff all right so now that I just uh, completed my session it was a pretty successful day I learned a couple things and one of the things for my driver I need to figure out how to get my spin down so I'm right around floating on that 3,000 spin so it's kind of limiting me I feel to get the extra distance but to just to power it off you go ahead and you just hold this mode button down and there you go it's as simple as that now, as far as the control goes me personally I would not keep this control in my pocket it's just kind of bulky I wouldn't want this thing in there anyways in just case I'm sweating I'm not gonna I'm not gonna have it in there uh, I most likely have it behind the unit if it's just a nice day if not then I'll keep it in uh, the case that I had as far as how I like this device I think it's a great tool it is uh, definitely something that I think every golfer should have so that way not only can you gap your clubs but also gives you vital distances as your launch angle your spin so that way you can make a uh, small adjustments in your swing to try to utilize your mistakes this is your tool right here this is much needed for anyone to improve their game awesome um, I'm gonna have further testing this was out in the range I'm gonna give you some testing in the net to see exactly how that works I'm guessing it's gonna be spot on because you just need to have it five feet behind you it doesn't really go with how far the ball travels from impact so I don't think it's gonna be an issue at all overall you know you have a little game where you can do a target mode it's good training so you go ahead and be like you know what the green is in your mind when you're on the range it's because it's always great to play little games pretending you're playing the course okay so you hit your drive out there you're like okay in your mind you're like all right I have another 130 yards 
to the center of the green. What club am I going to use? So you go ahead and you choose your club, which one you think you're going to hit 130 yards, and see if you can hit that 130 yard shot. It's going to do nothing but improve you overall significantly. It's going to be it's just an amazing trainer, and I'm super happy that I purchased this. Down below, there's going to be a link where you can purchase this. This unit does cost $500. It's well worth it. As far as uh, comparing it to other devices, I do have the Rapsodo mobile launch monitor and I will do a comparison video between the two coming up and I'll also do a mob, uh, Rapsodo mobile launch monitor review as well so that way we can have both and we can see which one comes up on top in my personal opinion. Thank you for watching and we'll catch you next time. Make sure you hit the subscribe, hit that like button, or hit that little bell icon too for any notifications for you know the future videos that come. Later.